Hi everyone, welcome to me, him, the dog and a baby. In a couple of weeks we are going on our first family holiday abroad to Mallorca and so this is going to be the first time that Erin has flown before. Um, I think it's quite hard to prepare a toddler for flying because they don't really understand what's going to be happening, they don't really understand what going on a plane is going to be like no matter if they've seen something on TV or not. Um, Erin's seen the Peppa Pig episode where they all go on holiday and she's quite excited about going on a plane but I really don't think she completely understands what's going to happen. So I teamed up with Into Chapel Field in Norwich and I've put together um, a bit of like a special pack for Erin to help prepare her for the flight um, which has got all kinds of different things in it. Um, for me the top priority for flying is being comfortable. So the first task that I had really was to get her in a comfortable outfit um, for the flight. So um, into Chapel Field's got quite a few shops for children's clothes. Um, they've got Zara, which has a children's section. They've got Monsoon. Um, they've got H&M Kids. They've got River Island, which has got a children's section. Um, boots have got Boots Mini Club. So there's a lot of choice really um, and I did have a look around them all but in the end I decided to buy from H&M Kids. They had a really good three for two offer on. So first up we have, uh, this is actually a pack of two um, bodysuits. So there's a dark grey and then there's a mint green and you can see here hedgehogs and these kind of items were all on the back wall um there wasn't really a clear boys or girls section which is nice i always like that i don't generally put everything in too much pink um so these pack of two vests were 8.99 and to go with them i bought grey joggers they were 5 99 and mint green joggers as well. Um, so they all mix and match and um, what I thought was Erin can wear one set on the flight going out and one set on the flight coming home, fingers crossed. Um, depending on how messy she gets, we might need to use both outfits on the first flight but um i thought that would be pretty perfect for having something for both really i also got a, a really cute hat that was only 2.99 um she can wear this on holiday she can wear this on the flight if she wants to if she wants to have the window open but the sun's in her eyes that'll help to to cover up just a little bit um so that's her flying outfit covered she's also going to have pair of trainers and probably a hoodie thrown on as well and that'll mean that um, the hoodie can come off if she wants to if she gets warm or anything um, but she should be super comfortable in that so nothing like being irritated on flight and um, next up is entertainment so Erin being two tends to not be able to concentrate on anything for too long um sometimes she's got like a 15 minute absolute maximum attention span so what i wanted to do was put together a lot of different activities for erin um for both flights really um i don't want to use the same things on both flights because she'll have already seen them she won't get excited um so yeah i wanted to get quite a lot of entertainment for her so some of the different shops that i went to um smiggle uh tiger because they've got loads of um like stationary bits everyone loves coloring she loves drawing um i also went to boots to have a look at their toys and there's a build a bear workshop in into chapel field but my first stop was the disney store so erin is moana crazy it's probably the only film she actually likes and she will sit through most of it she tries to copy maui doing dancing she loves the song she tries to copy where she can so 
I wanted to try and get her something Moana based. And what I found was this really cute playset. You can see here. It comes with um, baby Moana, Hey Hey, uh, the pig whose name I always forget. Um, it's got um, a little turtle and a leaf and it's got um, the stone of Tafiti. And it comes in its own carry case. So it doesn't have to stay in here if you don't want it to, but you can see that opens and closes. So um, it's not too big either. Erin's got a trunky and that will be her carry on case. So this will fit in no problem at all. But it means that she's gonna be less likely to lose some of the pieces, hopefully. So hopefully that comes back from holiday in one piece. Um, that was about £11, but it was on sale from 16 But I can't wait to give this to her on the first plane because I know she's going to absolutely love it and hopefully want to play with that for a little while. Um, so next up, I went to the works because the works is sort of... It's a bit of a strange shop really because they sell quite a lot of different things. Um, and they change their stock quite often, so you never know what you're going to find. But I do like that there's a lot of colouring, there's a lot of books, there's a lot of sort of stickers and activities, especially for toddlers. So I managed to get quite a lot from the works. I think I spent around £20 in there altogether, but I got a really sort of nice big stack. So, first up is just a black notebook. And I know that sounds quite boring but we will be taking some crayons with us um so erin can do some drawing or we can play some games so that was about three pound which i think was one of the most expensive things that i bought from the works um but i like the size of it i didn't want to get an a41 because i've already got some quite big books to take with us um next up i got some flashcards. um the pictures, as you can see on the bottom there, are a bit different. Some of the other flashcards we've got are really quite simple, but um, I liked that these were a little bit different. They were £3, so they're not only will they sort of keep us occupied on the plane, but there's something we can take out with us while we're on holiday. Um, we can play it in the hotel room as well. And as we are going on a plane, I found this book, which I thought was pretty perfect. It's a busy airport book. So it's a lift the flat book. And it's got lots of things going on. So it'll be things that Erin will have seen as we're in the airport. We can try and remember what's been going on. So that was four pound. But again, this isn't something that we can only use on the plane. It's something that we can take home with us. We can use over and over again. So that was a great find. And as I said earlier, Erin really loves to colour. She loves to draw. So colouring books were a really easy choice for me. And I bought three. Um, I don't know why, but she tends to get bored of colouring books. And she likes to have a couple of different options. She likes to find a picture that she wants to do. Um, so... These were only £1.50 each. Um, I don't really know why they're called the big orange book because there's nothing obviously orange in them um, and there's not really items that are supposed to be orange in them I guess. Just the covers are different colours but the pictures in these are nice and big so Erin will be able to do them easily and I also got Paw Patrol. Erin loves Paw Patrol and um, she's always happy to colour in those pesky pups. And lastly I bought two sticker books <coughs> and these have got quite a lot in them. 555 stickers in each. So these come with different scenes. So this is a mermaid book and the other one is the farm so you can see there. And then at the back of the book, there are pages of stickers. Now what I might do is cut these pages out so women can get to them easily. 
Um, but she, she can stick her for quite a while, so we'll have one of these for each of the flights, I think. So I'm hoping that that is enough to really prepare her in for her first flight. Um, we have ordered meals for the plane. Um, food is always a hit with a toddler. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm also planning to take a few snacks with us. So if all that fails, I'll feed her. But I do think she's, she's getting quite excited about going on holiday now. So I'm hoping sort of the excitement takes over and she wants to look out the window and she wants to play with some of these items that I've got her. But yeah, that's Erin all prepared for her first flight. Um, if anybody's got any tips for flying with a toddler, I would really love to know because I'm going in blind here and just hoping for the best. So if you have any tips, do let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye.